author and storyteller and today I thought I'll talk to you about You're Strong With Me which is a picture book I wrote with Poonam Mystery who's the illustrator. We did a series, You're Safe With Me, which is about a mama elephant and her little animals in the forest. You're Snug With Me with Mama Polar Bear and uh, her little polar bears in the den with her. And this is about Mama Giraffe and her little one who is in a hurry to grow up. So what I thought I'll do is give you seven different things that you can do with your strong with me. Are you ready? Here we go. Day one. Read the book slowly from start to finish. Discuss why Mama Giraffe affirms with you are strong with me. Now here is an activity you can try. Can you walk like a giraffe? Can you bend down to drink water like a giraffe? Try it out. Day 2. Explore the landscape in the book. Find out more about where giraffes live. What is an acacia tree? What does an ox pecker bird look like? Look through the book. Explore the different animals portrayed in the illustrations. The zebras, the lion and the insects. Day 3. Explore the language. What is a herd? What are collections of other animals and birds called? But why do animals live in herds? Do people live together too? What are they called? Do they help each other? Now look at the book and find some words you can try out. String, string. There's another one here. Hiss, snap. Can you say them in different animal voices? Day 4. Explore the science. This book deals with animal mutualism. What is mutualism? Why do animals live together? Why does the oxpecker bird live near a giraffe? And why do the giraffes put up with it? What other creatures help each other? Google it. Ask your parents' help to look up other animals that live with each other and help each other. Day 5. Explore the end papers. Look. What kind of patterns are these? Look up other traditional African fabric patterns. Can you create a pattern in this style? What colours would you use? Day 6. Explore the perspectives. Is the forest fire dangerous? Are there any benefits of a natural forest fire? What other natural phenomena are also good for the planet? Day 7. Make up a story. This is my favourite part. Using everything you've read so far, can you make up a fiction or a non-fiction story? How about an origin myth of your own? Here is a story starter. Why did the oxpecker bird come to live with a giraffe? Is it to share a secret? Is it to pass gossip? I don't know. You figure it out. It's going to be your story. enjoy reading and exploring our book you're strong with me thanks for watching stay strong